Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our 2023 Salute to Education. We are so appreciative that you are here tonight to celebrate with our honorees. My name is Curtis Nall, proud to be the superintendent here in Conroe ISD. I uh, want to give a thanks, first of all, to the Woodlands High School Orchestra for the great prelude. Let's give them a hand. I know they've already... <laughs> beautiful performance out there. Uh, this evening. At this time, I would invite the Conroe High School Army, JROTC, to present the colors. Once the colors are presented, Carrie Freemeyer, TSTA Conroe President, and Karen Brown, TSTA Conroe Secretary, will lead us in the pledges. If you would, please stand for the presentation of colors. If you all will join me now in the pledge to the American flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the pledge to the Texas flag, honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you once again to our Conroe High School Army JROTC. Uh, if you would, I'd like to make some introductions tonight of some special people that are here with us to celebrate. We'll start with uh, two of our board members that have been able to join us tonight. We have uh, Mrs. Stacy Chase. And Mr. Datron Williams. Also like to introduce a few of our CISD administrators that are here this evening. Dr. Chris Hines, Deputy Superintendent. Dr. Shelley Winkler, Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Schools. Dr. Bethany Medford, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools. Dr. Chris Povich, Assistant Superintendent for High Schools. Dr. Edith Salceda Upshaw, Assistant Superintendent for Teaching and Learning. Dr. Tamika Taylor, Assistant Superintendent for Student Support Services. And our Assistant Superintendent of Operations, Mr. Chris McCord. Also like to recognize our TSTA Conroe Executive Board, Ms. Carrie Freemeyer, President. Ms. Karen Brown, Secretary. Ms. Stephanie Powell, Treasurer. Mr. Danny Morris, ESPA, ESP Representative. Also, also like to give a big thanks to all of our TSTA um, Ceremony Committee members. So thank you for all of your hard work to make this event possible. Thank you. What a special night this is to be here to honor such worthy people. And we're going to learn more about each category moving forward, but the one thing that I would point out to you all for our loved ones that, that are here tonight is to know that in Conroe ISD, we have really big schools, right? All of our secondary schools are very large, and you compare them to other places uh, around the state. And so when I tell you that, it, it's more of a compliment to these people over here to be named the Teacher of the Year, the Humanitarian of the Year, the Friend of Education, to be the one person that is recognized or the rising star, to be that one person recognized, uh, it's an honor at any school, 
but it's especially an honor at a very large school. So congratulations. Let's give a hand to all of our honorees tonight. Now, we all wear a lot of hats in life, and one of the hats that I wear very proudly is being the husband of a teacher. And I understand that to have a great teacher, you have to have great people at home that understand the job and are there to support them in that work. And so I want to say thank you to all of you on this side of the room for what you do to support the great work that they're doing every day. So we'd like to give you a hand as well. So thank you. Now, if you were here at this ceremony last year, then you would know that we held one ceremony last year. We did elementary and secondary together, and it was really, really full, almost uncomfortably so last year. So we decided, how do we make it better so that people aren't so crowded and, and we can have a better time? And the idea was to have two ceremonies. So here you are, you, you get the second ceremony tonight. Maybe you've already had a chance to go have a, a great dinner and you're here now or you're going to leave here and go have a great dinner. But as it was shared with me, this idea of splitting us into two ceremonies, uh, there was one thing that came to mind immediately for me when they said, well, we're going to do elementary first and secondary second. And I say this to you all as a former junior high and high school principal. So I'm one of you. I am secondary people. I said, well, if we have the elementary ceremony first, they're going to cheer and applaud and be so happy for everybody that wins. They're going to have noisemakers and all the things. And they did. <laughs> and then we're going to come to the secondary ceremony. And all my secondary friends are going to go, I'm calling you out right now. And I'm challenging you. Okay. These wonderful people deserve to be celebrated, each and every one of them, when their names are called and they cross this stage. So as we call names tonight, we're going to make sure that we have enough pause between every name that you can absolutely celebrate and cheer them. Uh, if you need help, Dr. Smith has extra pom-poms. <laughs> we're ready for that, right? We want to make sure that we celebrate. Let's make this a special night. We're... We're in a really big room. There's not a whole lot of us in here, but we can make this really special for them. And that's my challenge to you, okay? So we can make that happen, secondary people. I know we can. So at this time, I'd like to invite Ms. Laura Landsbaum to the front. She's going to introduce our honorees. And I'd also like to ask our first row of Friends of Education, if you would go ahead and rise and, and make the turn to be lined up. And it's a long walk. I'm going to warn you all now. It's awkward. Uh, it's awkward. Your name's going to be called. You're going to walk all the way across the room, but I'm going to be honored to be on this end of the room and shake your hand and take a picture with you uh, as well. So here we go. Good evening, friends of education or organizations, community members, businesses, and volunteers that make a difference at your schools. The following were selected by campuses in Conroe ISD. Teaching is modeling. That's awesome. <laughs> this is Stacy Lopez from Moorhead Junior High. <laughs> Marcus Primer, Communities in Schools from Conroe High School. Darius Smith, Communities in School, Conroe High School's ninth grade campus. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Megan Barth from Grand Oaks High School. <laughs> Jen Elliott from Grand Oaks High School. Suzanne Hasselberger from Oak Ridge High School. Yes. 
Nema Spur from Baker Hughes at the Academy of Science and Technology. Congratulations to all our 2023 Friends of Education. And now for our Humanitarians of the Year. Humanitarians of the Year are full or part-time staff members, such as counselors, diagnosticians, principals, secretaries, paraprofessionals, custodians, clerks, crossing guards, or bus drivers. These individuals make invaluable contributions to their campuses daily and were nominated and elected by campus staff. Linda Farrington from our virtual school. Danny Nephew from Irons Junior High. Brenda Story from Knox Junior High. Ashley Harbin from McCullough Junior High. Ashley Porter from Moorhead Junior High. Amanda Turco from Pete Junior High. Larry Bradfeut from Stockton Junior High. Patricia Henry from York Junior High. <laughs> Laureen Robinson for the, from the Academy for Careers in Engineering and Science. Celeste Garcia from the Academy of Science and Technology. Amanda Bond from Conroe High School. Jessica Chris from Grand Oaks High School. Olga Hernandez from Oak Ridge High School. <laughs> Taria Raska from Oak Ridge High School. Lavette Bell, the Woodlands College Park High School. <laughs> Laura Braun, the Woodlands High School. <laughs> Adali Dominguez, Washington High School. Congratulations to the 2023 Humanitarians of the Year. And now for our rising stars. Campus rising stars are educators with zero to three years of experience. They are professional, make an effective impression on their students, and contribute to the culture of their campus. Trinity Smith from Irons Junior High. Yeah. 
Colin Schmidt from Knox Junior High. Madison Niemeyer from McCullough Junior High. Ashley Shelton from Moorhead Junior High. Natisha Freeney from Stockton Junior High. Brandon Sanchez from York Junior High. Colin Fishburn, Academy for Careers in Engineering and Science. Julia Ravelli, Caney Creek High School. Itzel Gonzalez from Conroe High School. Ranuka Malakarjan from Conroe High School's ninth grade campus. <laughs> Jessica Calvert from Grand Oaks High School. Brianna, Brianna Harris from Oak Ridge High School. Alexander Wixon, Oak Ridge High School's ninth grade campus. <laughs> Samantha Renzel, the Woodlands College Park High School. Sarah Amity, the Woodlands High School. Michelle McMahon, the Woodlands High School's ninth grade campus. Britt Page from our virtual school. Congratulations to our 2023 rising stars. And now for our Campus Teachers of the Year. Campus Teachers of the Year epitomize what it means to be an educator. These classroom teachers were nominated and elected by their classroom campus staff. Travis Yarborough from Irons Junior High. <laughs> Edith Gilbert from Knox Junior High. <laughs> Michelle Bynaman from McCullough Junior High. <laughs> Jeffrey Bruno from Moorhead Junior High. Chris Hayhurst from Pete Junior High. Hello. Julie LaRoche from Stockton Junior High. <laughs> Amanda Pritchard from York Junior High. McLeod. Michael McLeod, Academy for Careers in Engineering and Science. <laughs> Yevhenia Bauer from the Academy of Science and Technology. <laughs> Christine Zimmer from Caney Creek High School. Devin Stafford from Conroe High School. Woo! 
Edward Pierce from Conroe High School's ninth grade campus. Alfred Tanner from Grand Oaks High School. Angela Gwelly from Oak Ridge High School. April Jones from Oak Ridge High School's ninth grade campus. Rebecca Morris from the Woodlands College Park High School. Ed Swart from the Woodlands High School. Judy Skelton from Washington High School. Stacy Bowden from our virtual school. Woo! Congratulations to all the 2023 Teachers of the Year. So thank you so much. Let's honor them with a round of applause again. They have done. I have to say secondary, I've never taught secondary, but let me tell you, my heart goes to you because you guys put up with so much. And you have done a wonderful job uh, reflecting your campus and their and their philosophy and their culture and we appreciate you and we thank you so much for all that you do all of you you are honorees for a reason we recognize you for that so thank you one more time I also want to take a moment now to thank another group of people who are very vital to this selection process of Teacher of the Year. That's why I'm up here, yay! Um, Dr. Wally Barnes, this amazing man, <laughs> with many, many accolades, has um, committed himself to helping us in selecting the essays, the Teacher of the Year. So he and his committee of Sam Houston State professors spend hours, I mean, literally hours trying to find just the right essay that has the right words that touch the heart and soul of what an educator is. And I got to tell you, I know that's a big challenge for him, but he uh, loves it because he gets to see in somebody else's perspective what you guys go through. And... Um, so I want to thank Dr. Barnes for your commitment to education and the support that you give to Conroe IC. Thank you so much. Chat GPT. So if you will turn your attention to the screens, we have an expert, an excerpt from the winning Secondary Teacher of the Year's essay read by Dr. Bethany Medford, Assistant Superintendent for Middle Schools. And here we go. Chat GPT, write me an essay discussing my philosophy of education. While Chat GPT wrote a beautiful essay, it did not exactly capture the essence of my view of education. In the 16 years I have been an educator, many things have changed. One thing has stayed the same, kids are kids. I know I'm supposed to talk about my philosophy of education in this essay. I'm supposed to discuss what I believe to be true about kids, classrooms, and schools. I'm going to focus on the most important part of that, kids. I love the saying we have in Conroe ISD, all means all. I truly believe that. 
I am the parent of two nonverbal boys with autism, and that saying speaks to me in a special way. I take that saying to heart and live it in my classroom. Kids are the most important part of the school, not the teachers, not the classrooms, and not the principals. Sorry. I believe the following to be true about kids. They can all learn, they care, even when you feel they don't, and the more they like their teacher, the more they will do. All students can learn. They may not learn at the same pace of their classmates. They may not learn the same way we have been teaching the same lesson for years past. But if they can learn, if we take the time to find out what works. All students are different. The key is getting to know them. My first year in teaching in CISD, I got a new student three months into the school year. He barely spoke in class and didn't do any work at all. It took a long time of me sitting beside him, asking questions, telling stories, and working with him to get him to open up. He turned into one of my favorite students. He did pass, and he could do the work. He just needed to know someone cared that he did the work to pass. I wanted my students to leave my classroom knowing they are loved, knowing they can accomplish anything, knowing they are important. The most important instructional resource will always be the teacher, not the technology, activities, or programs, the teacher. Congratulating our secondary Conrad's D Teacher of Chat the Year. Chat GPT, write me an essay discussing my philosophy of then. education. One more time for good, for good measure. Just wanted to get those words back into your brain there. All right, then. So, uh, one more time. Let's congratulate this year's Conrad ISD Secondary Teacher of the Year, Christine Zimmer. Come on down. Congratulations, Ms. Zimmer Caney Creek High School. Well, congratulations. What a special evening. I got to say, my secondary people, you did me proud. All right? We did. We filled, we filled this big space up with a lot of love in here tonight for, uh, for some really special people. So uh, thank you for helping to make, make it feel uh, like home in here. And uh, as I mentioned to the, the first uh, audience this, this evening, you know, we have had um, a heck of a month of May already uh, in four days around here. Uh, and so some days you need to have uh, opportunities to refill your bucket and remind us of all the great and wonderful things and just help us to, to leave uh, with our heads up and hearts full. And that's what nights like tonight do when you have a chance to honor such great people. Um, so thank you for all being here, being a part of a special evening. We want you to make this as special as you want. So as we wrap up tonight, certainly you can take all the pictures that you want in here. You're welcome to go out uh, onto the patio. I don't know if there's still soccer going on. There might be, probably. But, but it, you know, if you hold the camera the right angle, you'll only get the scoreboard in the picture, and you can take a nice picture. Uh, but we want you to, to enjoy your time here, get all the pictures you would like. Once again, one more round of applause for all of our honorees. Thank you to TSTA Conroe for all of your hard work, to our great communications team for their hard work to make this event special. Let's give them a hand. We wish you all a lovely evening and safe travels. Good night.